Okay, so a lot of you have been asking me, how do you do your flower arrangements with the Day of Lost and Roses? Because most of them have short stems and you don't want to cut a big clump of roses off with buds that haven't even unpinned yet. So this is how I do it, it's really simple. So I buy like um, a big box of Oasis floral foam and I buy the Maxi Life variety and it's here. This is it. It comes in like an oblong block. I cut it in half, I put it under the tap until all the water is soaked and then I put it in like a vase like this, like a bowl and fill it half with water so it's st actually standing in water. And then Okay, so when you do your flower arrangement, you need to think about the angles it's going to be seen. So if you're going to put it next to, say, like, um, like a wall, and you're only going to be able to see around this area, don't bother about putting roses at the back because it won't be seen. So just concentrate on where the eye can see. And if you're going to put it on like a table where you'll be able to see actually all around, it's really important then to fill the whole oasis all the way around and in the middle because otherwise it's just going to look really weird and you'll be able to see the green, which is not very attractive. So I have just picked several blooms of Emily Bronte, which is a David Austin rose. And I'm going to start, okay, around the side. So what I'll do is, I think, well, I need to hide the green, don't I? So I'll just put one there. Okay, so that's the first one. And then just work your way around by covering the green foam. It's really that simple. And depending on when you're actually picking the blooms, if they're half unpin, you need to remember they're going to unpin up more. So give them a little space. Otherwise, when they fully unpin, when they're attached to the foam, they're going to look really squashed. So that's another thought to have in mind when you're cutting your roses. Because you don't want them to look really just, you know, jammed in and... That's not going to look very nice, is it? It's going to look very unattractive. So this is just a real plain, but really effective arrangement of just the one flower. And yeah, I'm just going to put one here. And I'm going to put more Umpin ones around the sides just to hide, just to hide the edges. I don't think I've got enough blooms today to do a. Um, oh, that doesn't look good. Just put that one in. It's hard to hold the camera. That one would look nice there. Gorgeous. So yeah, I'm not going to do the um, back as well. I'm just going to do where the eye can see. And I'll put this not on a table, but um, I might put it in the fire grate. It's going to look really beautiful. Oh god, it's really hard to do with one hand. <laughs> Okay, maybe one there. And the last one can go here. Let me just fix this one, it doesn't look right. Maybe I'll put that one there. Okay, so 
Here we go, a nice flower arrangement, really pretty simple and easy. That one needs to go a bit closer, but it just gives you an idea. And then put it into position. This one's going to go here. Look how lovely that looks. And say, as I say, if it was going to go on a table and it's going to get viewed all around, then it's really important that you don't leave, don't leave the back burr because you'll be able to see it when you walk past. So bear in mind, but because this is going to go next to the fireplace, you just can't see it. And it would be a waste to put roses at the back that aren't being appreciated and seen. So that's how I do my flower arrangements and I hope it's inspired you to do yours too. Happy rose cutting everyone!